Welcome back to the ASEAN Challenge. And on to ASEAN Interview, we have an interesting topic about the P2A classes going on at Drangsik University. Let's check it out. Welcome back to the ASEAN Challenge and on to the ASEAN interview. Today we will be talking about the P2A or Passage to ASEAN. As you might have seen on a program before that the Passage to ASEAN is started or was started by Rangsik University in order to get students to know more about the ASEAN cultures. Now today I will be talking more about the P2A but in terms of the subjects involved, I'm here with Dr. Kulabut Komen Kodnaha who is the Associate Dean for Administration and International Affairs, or else we can also call him as Ajahn Tam, right? Before we start into the subjects and how it is involved with the International College, can you give me just a little bit, or for our viewers, a little bit of a summary of what P2A actually is? P2A comes from Passage to ASEAN. Um, actually, P2A is introduced by Dr. Atit Urayrat, President of Rangsit University. Um, you know, like a few years ago, the president concerned about the our you know like our student how to compete with the other universities, other country. So uh, he tried to promote our student to you know like take a journey and learn by themselves and exchange knowledge with the other university in Asia. So that's why we concerned about this issue and try to you know like make connection with other university around Asian country. Uh -huh. So that's why it's the beginning of the, the P2A. Right. So it's a passage to ASEAN allowing Thai students yes. to get to know other ASEAN countries yes. and students. Now what I've heard is that it's going to become a P2A class, yes. not just an association or a group anymore, but now it's going to become a class. So how did this happen? Um, let me say that actually we have three institutions work together. So first, OIA, and second one is a Rangsit International College, or RIC, and the last one is um, the General Education Institution, we call Gen Ed. Mm -hmm. um, three organizations at Rangsit University work together and try to make the policy to, you know, effective. Um, so we organize the subject and launch the new subject called P2A class and into two subjects. The first one we call RSU 102 mm -hmm. and the other one we call RSU 103. The first um, the subject is introduction to P2A uh -huh. and then the second one is the P2A journey. Yes. So can you tell me about, okay we probably know that P2A, introduction to P2A is yes. to learn about that. Yes. But what about the journey part? What is What do you get to know in the journey? Yes. Actually, the two subjects is separately. Mm -hmm. you do, um, the student, if uh, want to, you know, like interesting to register this subject, um, they can, you know, like register separately, individually, not necessarily pass um, 102. You can like skip to 103. For the journey, the student have a meeting first and then decide what they want to explore, what they want to learn, um, which culture they want to learn, which countries. Mm -hmm. And then we have to mix together between Thai student, international student, and ASEAN student come from, you know, like our partner from ASEAN universities. And then once we mix a group, about like 40 students, then we decide and meeting and what we want to do and which place we want to go. Then we have to assign one or two lecturer, not based on like lecturer, you know, like Actually, they act like a coach rather than you know teacher or lecture because P2A class, the how do you say the unique of characteristic mm -hmm. of P2A is not the lecture based class, but we focus on activity based. 
they have to learn by themselves. They have to assign by themselves what what they want to learn, and then teacher or coach just you know like monitor them and you know like give a mark score for them. For example, if they choose to explore Malaysia, Indonesia, we have to contact our partner university there, and then they fly or they get board drive car any. But our university, I mean Langsit University. We support, subsidize funding for them, and then they have to find the accommodation by themselves. They have to learning by themselves. But every assignments or every you know like workshop, they have to do by English language. So I think that not just only you know like exchange their knowledge, but they can use the English language. We can find the space for them to use English language. But if they study here, based on the lecture room in campus, I'm sure, quite sure that you no know, Thai students want to speak English a little bit. So w e i r d why why I have to talk to you in in English, right? Yes. But once they go together and mix with many international students, they have to talk. Mm. They have to to you know like do the work together and communicate in English for sure. So that's why we think about like two 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 in one for for this subject. For improve their English language, and for another one for learning culture in other countries. Okay, อย่างที่คุณผู้ชมอาจจะทราบกันดีค่ะว่า P2A มันคือเริ่มจากการเป็นสมาคมก่อนการเรียนรู้แลกเปลี่ยนวัฒนธรรมระหว่างไทยกับประเทศอื่นๆในอาเซียนและคราวนี้เขากําลังจะมีการคลาสเป็นการเรียนรู้เกี่ยวกับอาเซียนเพิ่มเติมเป็น P2A คลาสค่ะซึ่งในคลาสนี้นอกเหนือจากการที่จะได้เรียนรู้เกี่ยวกับภาษาอังกฤษแล้วมันเป็น not lecture base ก็คือไม่ได้เน้นการเลคเชอร์แต่ว่าเน้นการเรียนรู้จากการทำกิจกรรมจริงๆการออกไปในโลกจริงแล้วได้เรียนรู้วัฒนธรรมต่างๆก็ที่เกี่ยวข้องกับ P2A คราวนี้คาริซ่าอยากจะทราบว่ามีความเกี่ยวข้องยังไงกับตัววิทยาลัยนานาชาติ How is this involved with the international college at Rangsit University Yes, um, in terms of our student, you know, like our student is just English language for daily life. Mm-hmm. So the English skill is not, uh, you know, like important for 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 them. I, I mean, the you know, like English communication, not not their problem. But they have to learn more third language. They have to learn Thai language as well. Not not just only speak in English, but they have to speak in Thai as well. For if you remember for the first one introduction to P2A, yes, RSG 102, we are joining in you know like domestic mm-hmm. in in Thailand, yes. so they have to explore which province and which city they want to to go, and then learn the culture Thai culture with other you know like international student, and then so our you know like college international college will monitor them. And teach them how to survive in our country, because you know, in 50% from from international college, they come from the overseas student, come from other countries. So the big problem is that they never been living here before, and then so how they survive? Because we want to, you know, like lock, I mean, not lock. It look like. A, We don't want them to to quit our college because of they're not happy to mm-hmm. stay in in our country. So the first year we try to to make them learn how to survive in our country by this course P2A, how to live with Thai people, how to learn Thai culture. So so that's that that that's that is meaningful for them, I think. So that's the first part, learning about yes, the Thai the culture, first, yes. and then after that, they get to learn about other countries. Yes, yes. How do they get to learn about other countries? Um, because you know, like other country, it means like other student from other countries, mm-hmm. from the PI 102 class, right? Introduction to P2A, right? And then once they travel in Thailand, they travel together. They eat together. They sleep. They do activity together. I'm quite sure that they have to exchange some culture from other students from different countries. Do they also get to go to other countries as well? Other for countries? the for the first introduction to P2A, they just journey in Thailand uh-huh. domestic journey. But for 103 or P2A journeys, we have to explore other countries. Uh-huh. 
and okay. then like maybe two or three countries. It depends on on each group. ก็คือนอกเหนือจากการเรียนรู้เกี่ยวกับวัฒนธรรมต่างๆไม่ว่าจะเป็นคนต่างชาติมาเรียนรู้เกี่ยวกับประเทศไทยวัฒนธรรมของไทยแล้วเด็กไทยก็ได้ไปเรียนรู้เกี่ยวกับวัฒนธรรมของต่างประเทศโดยเฉพาะในอาเซียนเช่นเดียวกันแต่ว่าก็คือจะมีแบ่งออกเป็น2ส่วนส่วนแรกก็คือเป็นการเรียนรู้ภายในประเทศไทยความเป็นอยู่ของคนไทยวิธีการใช้ชีวิตวัฒนธรรมของคนไทยหลังจากนั้นค่อยได้ไปเรียนรู้เกี่ยวกับวัฒนธรรมต่างประเทศแต่ว่าการเรียนรู้ในประเทศไทยเนี่ยคือเราก็จะไม่ใช่นักเรียนไทยนักเรียนต่างชาติเราก็จะมิกซ์แต่ละประเทศเนี่ยเข้าไปเป็นกลุ่มเดียวกันแล้วก็ไป explore ด้วยกันในประเทศแต่ยังไงก็ตามเขาก็ได้เรียนรู้ถือว่า culture ของการเรียนรู้เพราะว่ามีทั้งเด็กไทยแล้วก็เด็กนานาชาติอย่างที่อาจารย์บอกว่าประมาณ 50% หรือว่าเกิน 50% ของเด็กที่วิทยาลัยนานาชาติเป็นเด็กต่างชาติชาติครับเพราะฉะนั้นก็เป็นการเรียนรู้เกี่ยวกับวัฒนธรรมตลอดเวลาถูกต้องครับแล้วก็เป็นการสอนให้เขาสามารถอยู่รอดในในประเทศไทยได้เพื่อจะได้รักษาอัตราการตกออกเพราะเราก็ไม่อยากให้ให้เด็กนานาชาติเนี่ยเข้ามาเรียนปีเดียวแล้วเขารู้สึกโฮมซิกหรือว่ารู้สึก feel uncomfortable uh-huh. แล้วสุดท้ายเนี่ยเขาก็ก็กลับประเทศเข้าไปตรงนี้ก็เลยคิดว่าจะเป็นหนึ่งในเขาเรียกว่าอะไรครับ key factor ที่สามารถจะทําให้เด็กพวกนี้อยู่ในประเทศไทยได้อย่างมีความสุขครับโอเค last but not least okay. if a student was interested in taking yes. this course what Or how do they apply for this course? So this one is now you can register mm-hmm. on the the you know like the registration website our university, and for for this course we launch for the first semester on this summer. Mm-hmm. Okay, the first the first time in this summer and uh, in the elective subject. Okay. So every student in Langsit University can register for this subject. โอเคค่ะสำหรับใครที่สนใจที่จะเรียนวิชานี้นะคะ P 2 A เรียนรู้เกี่ยวกับไม่ว่าจะเป็นวัฒนธรรมไทยหรือวัฒนธรรมในอาเซียนนะคะก็สามารถที่จะเข้าไปในเว็บไซต์ของมหาวิทยาลัยรังสิตนั่นเองซึ่งถือว่าเป็นรายวิชา elective นะคะ yes. เพราะฉะนั้นใครก็เรียนได้ใช่เป็นวิชาเรียน So therefore we have lots of information very interesting program indeed Thank you very much Thank Alshan so Tam much. for coming on the program today ขอบคุณมากค่ะสวัสดีครับ There you go, and that wraps up ASEAN Challenge this week. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again very soon next week. But meanwhile, have a happy Sumkran. But for now, สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ